Eastern PA weather, 30 meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with your outlook for May 18th, 2017. For your Thursday, we have the peak heating day of this mini summer-like heat wave and uh, the high pressure offshore well established is providing a return flow around it that's giving us these very warm temperatures and hot temperatures and also increasing the humidity. We saw a little bit of that yesterday and we're going to see more of that today. Temperatures are going to be about a degree or two warmer than it was yesterday. So if you did hit 90 yesterday, expect to reach the lower 90s today with heat indices in the mid 90s. So uh, the humidity will play a role again today. Uh, with that uh, high pressure still anchored offshore and that ridge still well established over the region. This will start to break down a little bit, though, the ridge I'm talking about. This will start to break down as we get into Friday. Uh, we're going to have a cold front that's going to come through. Maybe, maybe we'll touch off an isolated shower or thunderstorm. I wouldn't hold your breath on that, though, because it doesn't look too promising on some of the short-range guidance, but that does not mean it's impossible. We're going to include the very low chance of an afternoon or early evening thunderstorm on Friday, and that would be a long this cold front boundary that's going to be moving off to the south again not much with it just high pressure in behind it that's going to move in for saturday and let's get to that just so i can show you this moving through here uh, high pressure is going to become established over uh, just to our north over new england and uh, that is going to scoot offshore here for sunday now before i get to that i want to get to temperatures really quick because this is what we're looking at for the final day of this uh, miniature heat wave this is uh so it's going to be warm tomorrow in some places too, but I think this is your peak heating day. So you're anywhere right along I-95, which runs right like this, anywhere in that area, it's a pretty good bet to see at least lower 90s for highs, maybe even uh, you know, 93, 94-ish uh, for highs in some of those areas. Uh, the models here are indicating uh, mid to upper 80s. I think this is well underdone. And uh, any basically anywhere in this red here would be 90 or above. And even up here, you're going to get up in the upper 80s, it looks like. Maybe even a few spots hit 90 as well further north of that line, but I think even places like uh, from Harrisburg to Allentown, I still think you see 90, 91, 92, something like that for a high, and then now we're forecasting 93 here in Philadelphia. Very hot day today, but then when we get to the weekend uh, on Saturday after that uh, front moves through, uh, again, this is showing uh, upper 60s here, but uh, we'll probably add about 4 degrees or so to that. We're looking at lower 70s. Lower 70s is what we're projecting here uh, for highs on Saturday with this high pressure in position over New England. It will be dry on Saturday and Sunday, for that matter. High pressure is going to be off to the east. Now, this is going to going to create a little return flow around this again, uh, but this is not in an ideal position. If it was down here, that would be more heat and humidity. Since it's up here in this position, it's going to be a, kind of a, like a marine flow or an onshore flow. Uh, so areas, at least eastern areas of our coverage area, uh, you know, closest to maybe from, uh, let's say, uh, Mount Pocono to maybe Allentown down to Philadelphia and points eastward. I think you're going to have an influence from not really so much the temperatures. Uh, temperatures will be held in check along the shore points a little bit, but I think it's going to be one of those partly to mostly cloudy deals where you're going to have uh, probably more clouds than sun to deal with, at least in those eastern areas, just because of that onshore flow that will be created by this high pressure sitting out here. So no precipitation, just a just a kind of a, a pain here, not getting much sun, as much sun as you will on Saturday uh, when we get to Sunday. Uh, temperatures in the, over the weekend will be in generally the lower 70s, so it's going to be more what is considered normal for this time of year. And then going forward from that, we do have a cold front that's going to come through here on Monday. Timing's still up in the air with this one, whether it's going to be a morning or afternoon, kind of favoring a little bit earlier now uh, with the latest guidance, speeding this up a little bit. But this will bring sh uh, scattered showers and uh, perhaps a thunderstorm along this cold front that's moving through on Monday. And uh, temperatures will nudge up a little bit on Monday if this comes in a little bit later. But time is going to be uh, is going to dictate the temperature, I think. But it, or otherwise, it stays. Uh, I just still think it stays mainly in the 70s uh, for highs here on Monday. And then once we get to Tuesday, we clear out. You can see that here. Uh, we get a, a dry day behind it on Tuesday. Another system building out here in the plains. We're going to watch this carefully. This will. Uh, make its way toward the region on Wednesday. This could be a Wednesday into Thursday, either a Wednesday, Wednesday night, or Wednesday into Thursday type deal with some showers, or maybe some periods of rain. Uh, we're going to tackle this when we get closer because it's really undecided what this is going to be doing. 
uh, but, but just bank on some rain late or mid to the late latter part of next week. So Wednesday, Thursday time frame, it could be somewhere there. Not that entire time, but somewhere in there we're going to be dealing with another rainstorm. We'll fine-tune the details on that when we get a little bit closer. Uh, for those of you looking for, forward to Memorial Day weekend, uh, we're going to be fielding a, lot, a zillion questions about this, and it's hard to tell. It looks like it's going to start off, start off dry. Here's a look at... Here's a look at the fri uh, Friday to start the weekend. So this is Friday. If you start the four-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for the holiday weekend, that's what we consider to be the four-day weekend or the holiday weekend. Uh, it's going to start off dry as shown here. After this, we kind of run out of range and out of extended range. So it could be something like uh, a start that a start to of the uh, weekend, Friday, Saturday that's dry. Uh, but then it might be a wetter second half or maybe just Monday or maybe nothing at all. We'll see. It's, it's past 10 days, so we're going to have to wait and see for a couple of days yet. But it does look like temperatures are going to be near to slightly below normal over the Memorial, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I can't, couldn't spit that out. Uh, but that does not mean it's going to be cold. It's not going to be in the 50s or low 60s. We're talking about near to slightly below normal for this time of year. Normal is kind of 72 to 75-ish. Okay, so if you're slightly below, you're 68 you know 70 something like that that's not too bad we can deal with that so i think that's uh so we're not heading back to the 50s i don't want to, get, I don't want to give anybody the wrong idea but it's not going to be beach weather either okay so that's what we're looking at that's where we look at look for the memorial day weekend uh so hopefully we'll be able to fine tune the precipitation end of it because right now it looks dry at least to start what happens after that point will remain, uh, remain to be seen. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for May 18th, 2017. Have a great Thursday.